Alright, Henry, I need some dual guards from you. They're all going to go for her, you already know. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, so we're not going to bring uh, Noe and Kellum. This chapter is a little too much for that. And hopefully Olivia will be okay. Yeah, now Cherish is trapped. Oh, dear. Well, can you dodge a 94? Alright, that's two failed attempts. I guess we'll have to keep Olivia back, but at least we get to see what Na looks like as a dragon. She's pretty red. Welcome back to Kirby Emblem Awakening. Last time we got Noair, the child of Tharja and Lon Q in this playthrough. And today we're doing Last Child Paralog. Not the last Paralog altogether, but the last one for the kids. Manor of Lost Souls, Paralog 16. Let's just go right into it. Yeah, it's pretty obvious who this is by process of elimination and the title like that. hair color looks all right on her. Usually she has Donald's because, um, reasons. Okay. All right, so we have to select units here. Let's see. So, you two can go off. So I want to bring, um, obviously you two because, yeah, reasons. I want to bring you two but we, of course, want to follow our plan, as we usually been doing, and bring these two as well. Um, so... Let's just see if we have another dragon. Okay. And Callum, can you just grab a lance off of somebody? Uh, we can take that. Okay. So, we have to kick someone else out. Now, we've been rotating around the parties, these two, um... Henry and Cherish just out last time, so I'm going to do something a little bit differently. Because I think support-wise... Krom and Kirby only have a C, which is kind of weird. So I think I'm going to kick out Gaius and Sumia. And I'm going to pair Krom with Kirby. It's a little bit different, but hopefully this turns out okay. Uh, now we have to view the map. Oh, wait. I have to actually select Noe and Kellum. So, right. We have to go through this uh, house. And there's chests there. But luckily... Let me see. Henry, do you have any lock touch skill you don't. That's actually quite a problem because we would like to have someone get those chests for us. Hmm. Might have to go get some chest keys, actually. I don't think we have any in the convoy. Oh yeah, Rickon has a second seal in case he um, decides to reach level 15 here. We can reclass him. I still have no idea what we're going to do with that. Oh, we have one chest key. You know, I might actually have to bring Gaius. That's a shame, because I did want to bench these two. Um, hmm. We could bench Olivia, I guess. Although that's kind of a bad idea. And then Kirby doesn't have a partner. Oh, well, we'll figure out. We'll figure it out from here. So, of course, Cherish and Henry want to move further. I do want to use Henry and... Not Henry. Rickon and Maribel quite a bit. She can just go to the back. Uh, Guys might actually leave by himself, and I could start on Kirby and Krom's pairing, maybe. Uh, you want to get with Cordelia, of course. She's still working on her bow and sword rank. Uh, you guys are good. Might pair actually switch around. Lisa and Donal, um, they should be good with Lisa's movement. She's really not that great at um, combat, as we saw the last episode. I'm just going to save right here in case we mess up. And begin. Alright, so third time should be the charm. Um, so I'm bringing the same party. Um, I switched out Noe and Kellum because, as you can tell, we really don't have any room for weaklings since they're not trained up. Um, I'm bringing the same party I did on my second attempt. We're just bringing our main team. So Sumi will be here to support Kirby. Gaius and Krom will go to uh, still go together. And we brought Olivia as a dancer. Um, I'm just going to have Na pair up with her. And they're going to run away. That's the plan. Uh, but let's just get right to it. I'm kind of tired of doing this part of the map. I'm not scared. 
Yo, I have to recruit her with Krom. Her dialogue with, um... Her dialogue with Noe is actually quite hilarious because um, Noe is basically like, tell me your name. She's, nah, okay. Fun dynamics. So yeah, we have to get Cordelia up a bit and we do have to train up Rickon. I don't know if I'll reclass him here or at all even. Um, he, he needs to get to 15, but we'll see how that goes. I may just go for a Sage altogether because we may be short some magic users if we... Uh, do you reclass him? I do like having my magical people. And if I do put him into a stage, that means I can put Maribel out front for m the most part. I actually want to conserve these rescue staves. Um, because we may need them if we're in a tight situation. But yeah, Na's going to... Olivia's job is to just get down to Na and assist us on the way. I'm actually going to put Rick in right here for now. Okay, last time it was a bow, and the time before that it was experience. But yeah, Rickon has two levels to go, but I think I might just reclass him to a sage at this point. I really don't want to deal with any more bronze weapons, and I haven't been able to find an arm scroll, but I still want to reclass most of our team. Uh, who isn't Donald or Kirby because they already were reclassed and Krom is just staying as is because that's best for, well, the end. He will be able to use an upgrade Falchion, but we'll get to that later. Uh, not really. It didn't get ugly. It, it can get ugly, believe me. This map has been absolute hell. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to get you in yet. Yeah, my priority here is just getting Rick into 15. I do want to put Maribel out front, but these warriors have a lot of bows. Well, they all pretty much have a bow, and uh, that's no good for Maribel. And I think they are resetting counter each time I reset, because I don't think the guy over here had counter, but I remember you two having it. So we also have to once again check every time, and you do have counter. Yeah, these enemies are really trolly, because what it wants you to do is send someone up here. Once you do the... Well, the gimmick are these walls. And once you send someone through here, they kind of bum rush you, because the walls move before the, um, the enemies do. Which is really stupid, but okay. Let's just get our high movement characters out to the front. And these guys will need to move because there are some chests, but I also want them on the front lines. And you're just going to Fairy Donnell in. Yeah, Falcon Knight Lisa, pretty fun. Well, if she were a good combat unit, but... She's still doing the purpose of transporting Donnell. Yeah, these guys have long-range tomes, are not too threatening. We will be seeing them in the main story, but uh, that will be the next chapter. Uh, but not so much right here. And we have this guy who's basically an Entune from Sacred Stones. And that's one level for Rickon. Okay, not too far off of the next one, yeah. He should get Life Taker, which is really useful, but... Let's see how that goes. And where is... Where are these guys? Okay, so Olivia is safe for now. Um, it's been... Oh, you couldn't reach. Okay, then. Uh, you know what? I think I might just put... Sumia out there, or better yet, Cordelia. We can go with Cordelia. I don't want to leave Na in her room because I'm worried an Emmy might go in there. I'm just going to take them to the start of the map at this point. And we have bow rank to work on, of course. Hopefully Cordelia can lure some of these enemies over the wall. Especially any counter warriors. Because getting rid of them with two range is primarily what we obviously want. And I'm just going to stick you on a pillar, and Donald and Lisa can get moving. We really can't reach the ones in the bottom without a longbow, and I don't have any trained up snipers, so no. I mean, I could reclass the Arion, but I don't feel like it. Yeah, you're going to attack her one range. And of course you'll go for two range. Yeah, the difficulty spike in this chapter compared to the other child parallels is really intense. Um, let's see if Rickon can murder you. 
Ideally, I'd like to dance for him this turn if he doesn't get to 15. Yeah, no. Okay, Levy, she can't even reach. Um, she can reach Krom, though, but we have to take out these guys first. Right, Sumi, of course, has to keep working on her sword and axe rank. Yeah, I just really don't want to go through the bronze weapon issue again with Rickon. Uh, so I think if Sage might be our best bet. We have another magical unit. I don't know if he'll fix some of his issues. I don't know if it's faster than the Dark Knight. Uh, do we need this? I want to hold on to it in case. Um, you know what? I'll get rid of that because um, I'd rather you have the axe anyway. Now, what about you? You don't have counter. You don't have counter. I could just have you go in with a sword. Okay, you're going to need lots of strength to use these weaker weapons, I will say, Cordelia. Alright. I'll just have you stay around here and get healed. With our recover staff. This is the one that Emrin has in her artwork. It looks like a half moon, which is pretty cool, and it recovers a lot, obviously. It looks like that staff in Fire Emblem 4 that, um... Uh... Claude had it. I think he started with that the Libro staff. Of course, it most likely is a reference to that, since this was supposed to be a big reference to all Fire Emblem games. Wait. Hmm? What? And she kind of has the same conversation with Krom too. Listen. And she asks Noe who's to blame for that, and Noe kind of doesn't understand. And she actually is a child, unlike Noe, <clears throat> because she is about the same age as the other children. She's a half manichaete, so she wouldn't really um, show signs of um, aging dramatically, but not to the extent of Noe. You guys are magnetized towards Cherish for some reason. I don't know, do you see low resistance because she was a wyvern? I'm not sure. And you are going to attack me from two range. Nice. Uh, Rickon might be better to do that because he, um... Yeah, can Lisa get to that square? She can't. I mean, I don't think Lisa's in danger of the mire at all. Okay, Na is going to go he pair up on you. And I may just... For the time being, Olivia is still useful to... She may have... Where can Cherish get to? She can get pretty darn far. Oh, I should have switched. Um, let's see. And I'm gonna have Cherish keep healing rather than Henry, because Henry got a lot of staff rank when I fed him the arm scrolls to use the Eleven Swords. Okay, take out the warrior at all costs. Um, I'd like to use Maribel for this, but he has a bow, yeah. That's a shame, because I really would prefer to use Maribel. Oh well, maybe she can take down some generals. That might be useful. There is one in that lower corner where the chests are. Okay, yeah, life taker, that's good. Hey, he gets it right away. Okay. Mm. Just dance for you for the time being. And get you moving, and these guys are going to do nothing. Might just put Donna in front, um, because they will kind of pour out of here. I think these are too wide, if I remember. Does anyone have counter? No. Yeah, the door just kind of does what it wants. That green stuff looks like the toxic goo from the Crash Bandicoot series. I know there was a lot of that stuff in the, um, 
final Island 3 area in the first one. Please keep working on your axe rank, Sumia. Oh, double Pavi is nice. I don't think Sumia can use a hammer yet either, but I do have one on Cherish and uh, Donald. Well, I'd rather have Maribel take them out. She's going to be the primary combat unit whenever I do reclass Rickon. Okay, yes, kill yourselves now, please. Good thing you're not a Falcon Knight, or that would be super effective. Okay. Yeah, um... Maribel can actually fight you here. Uh, Sumia might be able to lure him. We'll have Maribel fight this one. Um, she's kind of out of uh, firepower. Fire is more fitting to Maribel. I think she has a more fiery personality, and Rickon's going to just dual support anyway. She probably could have taken on that um, warrior. But I'm not going to risk that after a couple failed attempts. Speaking of which, you guys are going back this way. And Sherish really can't heal. Yeah, we really can't do too much. So I'd rather you go for Sumia than Sherish. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wall off the front area where we came down through. Send someone up there to deal with one of these Mire Mages and have Lisa rescue them back. I mean, we can't just cheese out their tomes, but that'll take forever. And Sumi's hair is still clipping through her armor. How, uh, interesting. Okay, um, I guess we're getting rid of all Sumi's weapons. Okay, right, so... I think the best thing to do is just pull back a bit. Let those guys get the chest for now. And we're going to create a barricade over on this side. Now, who, the question is, who wants to actually... fight... Um, actually, you guys will probably be safe once we have the barricade up, so I don't have to run away with you. Yeah, it's waiting for us to go over the wall to send all these units at the bottom to ambush. There is another strategy you can do of, um, I think you just have to throw everyone over the wall pretty much beforehand, but I would rather just, um, you know what, Lisa might actually have to stay on the back line because I need her to... And for this, I think you are better. And we'll give Stall Yai Hat. Gave him the Amatsu because that is usable by um, Swordmaster types, Mirbadons and Swordmasters. And we didn't really have anyone to use since uh, Lonku and Seiri are both kind of on the bench. Um, it's just kind of rotting in the convoy. Yeah, I did just buy one of those for Rickon right now, but, um, no. So we're just going to wait out. I've figured out that camping may be the best strategy. So let's just get guys back up here. Um, you know what? I'm going to put Maribel out here too. And then Krom can block that area. Ideally, I want the one on the um, closest to us to fall down. So I can easily rescue them back with Lisa. I'd prefer the one over here go down, please. Okay, cool. I'm thinking maybe Cordelia can just go over there. Alright, let's see where it wants to break. Because someone can get trapped in there, too. No, it's going to stand here now. This is very... This is a terrible gimmick. This is like revelation level gimmick. Okay, um, Cordelia, why don't you go over here and trick the wall, please? Oh, 
Okay, I think that'll do it. So what we can do now is have Cordelia... Actually, I should probably also look to see who has counter. Cordelia can go up there and just pick off a Meyer. Uh, you have counter and you do not. So let's see. Your movement is what? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like right here. Okay, Cordelia can... See, I'm very worried she's not going to be able to make it back. Let me see if it'll... No, it's going to stay right there because all my units are over here. Okay. Uh, how annoying. Okay, Cordelia, go here. <laughs> These guys are going to run out of mire. It would have been a lot easier if these guys didn't spawn with counter on this lower front. Now it's not doing anything. Yeah. I just want the wall to fall over where the rest of our guys are. Why is that so much to ask? Maybe if we move like this? Nope. I'm wondering if it sets itself in a certain place after a while. Like, it's just going to stay here and not do anything else. You know, at this rate, I think I'm going to send Kirby and Sumia over the wall because whoever goes over is going to get piled on pretty quick. And I think they might be better up to the task. So let me have Sumia go here. Cordelia can come back here. Actually, let's look, go back as far as we can. Bias. Because I'm not getting countered. Matter of fact, I might want to go in this little doorway here, too. I know I'm playing very carefully, but this chapter is really irritating me at this point. So have Sumia bonk one of these mages so we don't have to deal with them. Okay. Uh, let's go for the sword. Hopefully she can pull a crit or something, or Kirby can just help us. Or Luna. That works too. Okay. Now is where the fun begins. So this guy has six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'll be fine here, but I'm going to put Gaius right here. And I think I'm just going to go with, um... Go with Stall, actually. Uh, you stay back for healing. You can switch to Stall with its weapon. Uh, Olivia can just hang out here. And Lisa may need to help... Sumia and Kirby. Yeah, so this happens. Now I'm worried that those enemies are going to come up for Sumia and Kirby. Um, but Nosferatu should save us in this situation because they're pretty much stuck at this point. And Lisa isn't in range where, because the wall wouldn't cooperate, Lisa isn't at a spot where she can just pull. Um, wondering if she could reach from here. She's kind of bad at rescuing. Alright, so we can start by taking on these guys, and I might just have Kirby stand here with his nods. And we'll want to take on these guys, right? So, who all has a bow? Well, you have the axe equipped. You have to be taken out with two range. Please do, because they're the bane of my existence right now. Do they both have counter? No. Actually, Stall might be a good choice to fight you. You know, I thought that might be locked to people who already start as Myrmidons, but it's not, so that's pretty cool. Alright, Gaius. I kinda wanna use the, um, Bronze Axe and get you going there as well. I might appreciate some help. You know, I really need to put, be putting that bronze lance on him too, since we kind of are running out of lance users since everyone's reclassed. 
Um, go for silver. Thank you for your love and sword, Henry. Okay, it is safe for you to... Hmm, Donald really can't do anything, but he can... Alright, who's a counter? No, no one. Okay. I think Donald's just going to stand here with the, um... Hatchet. And Olivia can maybe get Maribel a little closer. Or Rickon. <laughs> If I'm going to use Maribel as a fighter, I might as well give her, um, maybe a robe. Okay, 28, 2, okay. Let's just have her go here and try to murder this guy with frickin' help. Thank you. Well, okay then. Hopefully some of them will go for Kirby. Ow. Yeah. That's actually not good. I'd rather have more things blocking stall. Now this is a two range weapon. Oh boy. Yep, that'll do. Maybe the third time isn't the charm. Oh boy. Yikes. That looks really funny. Oh, we don't need that. And you're still magnetized once, chair, for whatever reason. I don't know. Magic users really hate her. Alright, Cordelia, I really need you to... Okay. Please make sure he's so dead, Stall. Okay, I think they're done. Uh, not a single one went for Kirby. Okay, what about you? Are you a counter? No. Kinda wanna put Donald in front of these. Um... Yeah, much rather Maribel get these level ups since I did kind of promote her early previously. Alright. I'm worried that they might this wall over here might come down and I I might just have to move Olivia back regardless. Get rid of you. Uh can Crumb actually kill you for Lance? No, but guys might help. Or he can just murder him. This Lance animation looks pretty cool, I'll admit. Right, there's not too many left. Um, Kirby really can't do much. I mean, we can still move him towards the range. I think I'm going to move Olivia back. I don't trust these stupid walls. Okay, um, and I'll put Cher Cher for she have a she has a little bit use of a short axe left, and I'm just going to run away. And this guy is still alive despite all of this. There's still a lot of enemies to go. 
now. Well, at least Sumi can still work on her weapon rank. Okay, I don't know why you keep... Uh, you're going to get short apps, then that's a scary crit rate. Now, having a really good bow user might be really fun. I mean, obviously it will be, but... Bows really aren't too, too useful, but in situations with counter, they do become a lot better. I should probably give Stahl a different sword. Okay, so we've survived this onslaught, somehow. Somehow we've done it. Uh, let's see if we can... How do we get everyone to go through? Um... Just switch Rickon over here, and can Donald get in? He can't. I want to get all these guys in here. I think it might be safe for Olivia to come back out now. Okay, we're going to keep trolling with the walls so no one can get through. Yes, Chapter really loves to split up your army. I'll put Lisa out front. There, now there's someone by every door, so you really can't get in my way. Very worried for Sumia's sake if I do that, though. Um, and I'd really like to heal Stall, but... Okay, these guys can get through. Maybe Olivia can help someone. Might be the best play to use Olivia, just to help people get through these stupid walls. Uh, stall. Let's put the edge on him. Let's get everyone through one wall first. Dance for your not husbando in this universe. Thank you. Oh, there's the door key. That might be better. I think Sumia has these, so no, I'm gonna send Sumia this way. She has both of them. And Lisa and Donna are still stuck. Alright, I think at this point it's going to be Olivia getting them over this wall. At least there's no other um, chapters with this annoying gimmick level in this game. Okay, we finally get Donald through. Tired of looking at this stupid um Meyer animation. I'll just let Donald get over here. Oh hey, Olivia might be able to make it. Although she's in Meyer danger. Unless Come here. <laughs> okay. dance you over. This is a good chapter for the rescue staffs, actually. Let's get everyone ready to go. This is irritating. Yeah, we don't care about you anymore. Although I guess that's going to happen once we break down the door. More concerned about these guys. Um, right. Okay, no counter on you. Okay, good. No more counter. I'm gonna put Donald up here because he's really the only one I trust to do anything. Um... Sure, she had a really bad time before. Uh... 
don't want too much getting to Mirabelle because you guys probably have bows. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have Rickon kill you. Or at least try to. Never mind, he'll definitely kill you. Yeah, Rickon's coming into his own, but yeah, he's going to stay as a mage for me. Okay, cool. Uh, still a bit worried for you two, so I'm just gonna have you hang out here. I mean, I don't know if these are going to fall. They haven't yet. If not, we'll send Sumia over here with the door key. What an awful map. Okay, it seems you're not going to do anything. Um... I'm not even going for Donald. I'd actually just have Sumia stand here with a hand axe. That might be the best play. And Cordelia too, maybe? Tom can get over here with the lance. Uh, yeah, we'll just stay back. No, they're not going for the bait. How sad. These guys don't have, like, a beast killer or anything, okay? Actually, I'm gonna have Kirby switch and use the door key. Hmm, you can't quite reach. That's irritating. Who's the most... Hmm, it's really hard to say because everyone really doesn't have... I mean, we could stick with that. Does Crom have any charisma boost? He might. Okay. Oh, we'll just go with that, of course. Well, good thing I moved Olivia back. Yeah, I'd rather you go for Sheriff because I don't want too many things to pile up on Cordelia. Of course it did. Luckily, these guys don't have any, um, no counter up here. This could be a lot harder if these guys do manage to spawn with counter and you're just a, um, one of these. I'd have Maribel finish you off. And Lisa's still doing no damage, but hopefully she's getting Lance rank. I don't really care if Lisa maxes out her weapon, I just prefer to use hers up. Valencia 2.0, pretty much. Uh, are you going for Olivia? Uh, you probably are. Someone might have to go over there and take care of that. Um... I don't know who's going to make it. Maybe Krom? I kind of want him to... I kind of want Krom to, um, work on his lance. Hey, a level for stall. This blessed stall. He's so good. Oh, you have an axe. It's kind of scary for Krom. Yikes. Uh, hmm. Anyone have any more luck than that? Donald, maybe? Yeah, Donald doesn't care about you. No, oh, Lisa did damage. Oh, and you're gonna be in range of that guy, aren't you? That's a shame. I want Maribel to get that. Um, can Kirby... Kirby can actually kill you if I wanted to. Yeah, it might be for the best. You're just too scary to be left alive, even though you don't have counter. Thank you, Sumia. That's 
that. Actually, can Krom do anything to you? I highly doubt it. Eh, he can do enough. This guy has his axe equipped. He does. Okay, good. I'm going to have Maribel go for you. Yeah, a lot of experience once again. And Cher should be able to kill you. Oh wait, but I think there's a chest up there. Um, let's see if there's any more chests. I'm so frustrated with this map already. It sounds like she's saying who are you, but she's saying poor you. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a chest right here. Uh, is that general in range of- oh dear, he's in range of Donald. But Donald can't counter. I just have to keep him alive until we can get up. Well, no, the boss is right there. Never mind. We did get everything there is to get in this stupid chapter. Okay, cool. Uh, switch chest. Nice. Let's protect Olivia. Oh, I think he's taking his distractions off of Olivia for now. Maribel is probably going to get to, um, level... I don't want Krom to do this, but... Maribel is probably going to get to level 15, and then I'm going to have to unequip Gale Force. Maybe Krom can do this. I don't care how many turns this takes. Yikes. That's kind of scary. Does he have a... Waste. Okay, that's the brave tome. Uh, Maribel can deal with this, though. Brar, Risen Chief. Yes, we see you. Oh, boy. <laughs> if I lost here, I'd be really, really salty. That was a tough one. In fact, it might be one of the toughest chapters in Awakening. Oh, she'll get her level 5 skill. I think it's Rally Movement, and pretty good. We'll have to give that to her, or some magic user. Anyway, we get Nah. Thanks. Yes, you Listen. definitely would, unless you were Noe and your dad were really grinded up. We've got this. Right. I mean, I did train Noe up a bit while I was grinding for supports. And I... does she? Okay. I think there, yeah. What a crazy coincidence, yes. Nah. <laughs> well, she's saying Nah doesn't know we're saying her name. No problem. Yeah, I thought we were going to die, too. Very good reason to uh, cry in that chapter. That Anna had a speed wing, but she was occupied with an enemy. Oh, another one. Alright. So, we've unlocked the supports. We'll start with, um, let's start with Kalamina. Yeah, just didn't get to bring these two because that chapter is really irritating. This would make a very tanky gnaw, though. <laughs> so. Well, at least Nod's noticing you. Huh? Well, 
Well, Nod is certainly less oblivious than the other children. Oh, Wayne probably doesn't know how that sort of thing works. Until you pair him with Elise or something in Fates, which is kind of a... I know it's like the best pairing for his kid, but it, it's still weird having Elise and Sakura Sorry. have a kid. Although Sakura is adorable with Hayato as a partner. And the last one between the Manikeets. I wonder if I think Tiki can actually support Na as well. Nope. Huh? I wonder if she can support Noe. I'll have to look when we get Yay. Tiki. By the way, Tiki is the last paralogue, but I'm going to put her off for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to get back to the main story after forever doing paralogues. So, so much boring good. stuff. Yes, yeah, so this will probably be our last support for a while. I may unlock some other supports between, um, like Kirby and Krom and such, but we'll see how that goes. We'll be fine. <laughs> wow. Exacto Mundo. All right, and no more support. So we have pretty much everyone now. We may have one more unit to get. Of course, I can't get the um, extra spot pass units. But next time, we're actually getting back to the main story, finally. And I'll see you then.